oh my gosh guys so someone in the office just tip us off about this crazy new bubble tea that you confirm never see before Ciao! You drink bubble tea huh? right? Huh? You like bubble tea right? What do you say? You like bubble tea? Yeah okay Are you free today? No I got very busy today, I got a shoot later Ah yeah okay, okay doesn't matter doesn't matter Just pack your bag, pack your bag now I bring someone go fun, ahead. quick Let's go, let's go take your, your bubble tea, your bubble tea Let's go, let's go uh, Where are we going? Where are we going? Kiara says that this bubble tea is going to be so big that we need an extra person to eat this with mm -hmm. us. Hi, Beck, hey! Hi. <laughs> so, Becky is going to be behind the camera as well because I tell you, this bubble tea thingy is going to blow your what mind. What is a bubble tea thingy? Is? I can't tell you, but. What is a bubble tea but thingy? But legit, it, you confirm never see before. We're here! This is a hot pot place. Yeah! Ask me. This is gonna be the coolest bubble tea How ever can there tried. be bubble tea in hot pot? Let's go. Let's go. Let me show you. This is mind blowing me. Child. This is bubble tea. It is. <laughs> okay, I get where they're coming from. They even give the bubble tea straw. Yeah. I want to find out what is it exactly. Oh my yeah, god. I, I'll ask it it just looks so Hello. confusing right now. This is our new product. You can see some of the products on the top. It's a green one, a green one, a green one. It's a coffee fur, plus a cocoa fur. It's 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 a cocoa fur. 是用阿萨姆红茶外加一些特定调料来调制而成的。我们还没开火之前，可以用我们咱们手上的吸管先试一下，插入我们的火锅吸食一下。我我们试试看。So you heard what the guy told us about this crazy bubble tea hot pot, right? Shall we try the top now? It's like a top one cm layer, is it? Yeah, it's a milk foam. Okay. Hmm. Oh my gosh. It tastes like a fresh milk when you heat it up on the pan. Why don't we mix it up a little and then we try? It just tastes like a really milky. Coffee. There's a mm. lot going on in this right now. It's 10 times better. Yeah, I feel like this gives you so much more depth to the taste. But I can't imagine putting meat into it. Right now, we're gonna have the soup added to our mala teddy bear. Oh my Ooh, god, no! It's falling. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> This bubble tea hot pot, right? It comes with a whole platter of little ingredients you can dump inside. So just now they mentioned, right? When you eat the bubble tea hot mm -hmm. pot and you dip it with the meat, you okay. need this three oh. of sauces to turn it up. Okay, this is really simple. It's just pepper flakes. I'm not sure, but it does look like there's a lot of chili oil in there. I think there's also chili chopped chili padi mm. and sesame seeds. Yes. Look, there's something more inside. Oh yeah. Ooh, black beans. Oh, I didn't. Really those are black beans. My favourite when eating mala. Go back to the mala episode, I said a perfect mala base, right, has black beans. I love it when I find like beans in the mala. You know the salted oh, yes. beans? Yes. Like, it adds a punch of umami. Okay, and this one. So this is a more soy sauce base. They have chopped spring onions, chilli and... Mints? Huh? Maybe? Yeah, let me try. Some sort of minced meat. Mmm, it really is minced meat. Okay, I don't want to taint the soup first with the meaty stuff, so we start with sweet lah. I'm guessing that our bubble tea concoction right now is super sweet mm -hmm. because yeah. we added all these extra syrups and toppings. Should we try? Yeah. Like usually when you go for bubble tea, right? The only topping you add is what? Maybe the tempura pulse. This one, it has everything. Eh. By the looks of it, right? It doesn't look like bubble tea anymore. It more looks like a dessert. So you can still smell the coffee in it though. Uh, I'm getting a sugar rush from this. <laughs> I actually really like the taste of the yam mm. and the sweet potato when you mix it with this broth. This is definitely not a traditional dish. I think it's very gimmicky. I mean, the restaurant is kind of known for mm -hmm. its gimmicky dishes as well. Yeah. Going to try the savory ingredients mm -hmm. with the bubble tea soup base. Yeah. We have the premium Chinese yam, mm. the beef, and the mala bakwa. Hey, wait. Let me try. Ah! <laughs> it's really tough. It's yeah. not the traditional bakwa square. It's, it doesn't taste anything like a bakwa. It reminds me of a beef jerky. Let me try the mala bakwa first. This one was so hard, right? Now it's totally soft. The texture has completely changed after mm. boiling it. Oh my gosh, the flavour is still there. Yeah. Just that it has been mellowed down a lot more. Maybe because yeah. of the milkiness of the broth. Right. Okay, so next up we have the shan yao. 
I like it. Oh. It has really absorbed the flavor of the bubble tea very well. Tastes like there's a sweet coating around the root itself. Mm. But when you bite into it and you chew, you still get the earthy flavor of the root itself. Correct. Let's try the beef. So they say that this beef is supposed to be really tender. No matter how much you cook it in a broth, right? I mean, after you take it out, it won't be half. Boom! Oh, is this beef? Oh, it's so squishy. Reminds me of fish texture, actually. Like squid. You like it? Honestly, no. Because when I eat beef, I want a really meaty flavour and texture. Okay, right. This one is straight up chewy. It feels like I'm eating like organ. Yeah, I can see why you would think it's not beef. The texture doesn't really feel like how beef would be like. Ooh, wow. I'm so scared of the chilli padi. Eh. And there's so many seeds inside. It's scary. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. The sauce is so good. It nicely complements and like coats the entire slice of beef. I think maybe it's just that the beef and the bubble tea hot pot didn't match well nicely. I find that this one gives oh. it a whole new flavour. Okay. It's like savoury and it's fragrant. Okay. Like from the sesame oil, from the black bean, it's really good. But it is an experience. It's a novelty. I feel that you should at least just try it. It's something so unique. Okay, so one of their signatures here, which is the Barbie door meat platter. Honestly, it's really creepy. Lady Gaga will approve of this though. You can brush my hair. Undress me. Oh my god, let me anyway. undress you, Barbie. <laughs> oh, look at those arms. It's premium Wagyu beef. <gasps> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're that excited. Yeah! <laughs> because I've never had Wagyu beef before. Swish, swash, swish, swash, swish, swash. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, how many times did she say mmm? Oh my gosh, it's so soft and fatty. Wow, that was really good. Yeah. So actually, mala hot pot, right? Better places actually give you the option of adding butter into the hot pot. Oh! Yeah, which is a whole which, nother... Wasn't it the teddy bear though? Yes, correct. The aroma has been bugging me for ages. <laughs> for the whole time, right? The whole time, you can smell this mala hot pot in front of us. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Oh shit! <laughs> ah, mama. Okay, now you can see the marbling. Cheers. The flavour profile is just worlds apart. The numbing sensation is overwhelming. My mm -hmm. entire mouth is numb at the moment. For spice bowl, right? I think the mala broth is like not only spicy, it's really flavorful. Okay, you know what, child? Let's stop talking and let's just feast. I'm already doing yeah, it, Kiara. <laughs> well, Thank you very much for bringing me on such a <laughs> unique experience. You're welcome. I think it was one of the coolest bubble teas that I've tried in my life. Right? Coolest but also one of the weirdest for me. If you ask me if it's a gimmick or not, I would say honestly, I don't see myself ordering um, bubble tea hot pot again. Okay. Unless it's like 1st of April and I want to <laughs> prank my friend. I would recommend coming here after a night of partying and you want to <laughs> indulge in yeah. a hot bowl of soup. Yeah. And you have the unique flavour as well. Thank you for watching this episode of Eat Book Vlogs. If you love this kind of video, let us know in the comment section down below. And if like me, you love bubble tea, <laughs> hashtag BBT is life! Catch our other videos over here. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe! Bye! Bye.